In this video I'm gonna show you how I build this beautiful pop-up step-by-step. If you're struggling with hook elements from Kazan Steam Pro add-on, this video walks you through exactly what you need to do so you can set up properly on your own business. Hi and welcome back, my name is Natalie from Sites with Natalie, a place where I help you grow your business. My first move is just get into the WordPress Cadence dashboard to make sure this feature is activated and make sure you have enabled the Cadence hooked elements option. Secondly, go to elements tab to start creating from scratch my header coupon. Navigate over appearance elements and then click on the add new button. I am named Wu Heading. You have three options to choose from. I go with the default. This option lets you build the element using the customizer blocks. This is very handy, let's go into this, it's pretty easy. The purpose of my first header element is to offer coupons for my Ucadden store. I'm asking them to subscribe to the site, it's connected to my header and is triggered when my user clicks on it. Next, I want to add my pop-up block. Cadence Blocks has the modal block allowing us to add a pop-up to any page. Click on the plus sign located at the right hand side of your screen and search for modal. Inside there we create its content to be displayed on my WooCommerce headers store. Change the link settings to send me a coupon. By selecting the text and type in send me a coupon for example. Now click within the box and write down welcome. Set the alignment and change the size. Now let's add a new block. Click on the plus icon. I go with one column row layout block. I also added a background image and then I added a center countdown block. I added a form block and a paragraph just like you are watching. I'm not being specific about the design style as my purpose is to recreate three hooked elements. And then I publish. Now click on this little pencil icon to set the element behavior. As this is going to be visible on my header, so I just defined to show on front page and the device settings. Now head back over to the WordPress dashboard to copy Cadence shortcode from the element section. Next I connect this element to my header. To do that navigate to the appearance, customize and then a header widget area. Now click on the plus icon to hide the HTML element of the header middle row builder. Inside there I paste the shortcode and drag to the right hand side and publish. Loading the website now on the front end to check. Mission accomplished, I have a beautiful coupon offer. However, I want to use only an icon instead of the text link. To achieve that, go to the element and then edit, click on the gear icon and select the modal block. Scroll down to the font family section. In the select icon box, I selected my icon and then I activated the below the show only icon and then update. Let's take a look now at this. Refresh. My first element hook is done. Perfect. The purpose of my second hook element is to create the menu item drop down content to be displayed when my users over over on top of it. Let's do it. Add a new default hook element. As I said before, this option allows me to, to create element with Gutenberg block. Pick one column, this is part of the cadence blocks and add in some cadence blocks. An important step now is to set up the element behavior. So to do that, head over to this little pencil icon 
on the show on tab it means where do you want to display this element on your site be sure to check this option and then publish having done the design and set up the element i want to connect it to my header so head back to the wordpress dashboard go to your menus by navigating to appearance and then menus i selected my primary menu i want I want my element to be displayed on my about menu link when my users over on top of it. Click on the about menu item. Click now on the menu item settings. This option is part of the mega menu option from Cadence Team Pro add-on. I disabled the menu item. On the mega settings next, I set the mega menu that appears on over on top of it. Enable the mega menu drop down. Once it's been enabled, you find more options. Below, you must set the mega menu width. There are four options. For now, I set mine as content. Next, you need to define the number of columns to your menu. As I design one column, I go with one column as well. Don't forget to save, otherwise it doesn't work. Next, create a custom link from your menu location, about content, and then I drag below my about link. Save. Click now on the menu item settings and then mega settings. Enable custom content and select the element whose content should be replaced this item. To me is the about content element created previously. Save the menu. Loading the website from the front end. Let's check now. As you can see, the link is disabled and when hovering over, over the about menu item, I get my drop down. I change now the mega menu width to many container width to show you how it looks like. Checking now the site. My last hook is a fixed subscribe button at the bottom of my site. So from the element section, create a new element. This time this is a fixed element. I name it footer services. And now it's time to create its content within Gutenberg. Click on the little pencil icon to set up the element settings. Within the placement, I go with the fixed bottom after scrolling, meaning that will be no spacing below footer. It will be fixed at the bottom. For the priority, I want mine to be high priority instead of other elements here placed. Scroll down distance, I want 300 pixels, it meaning it will be, it will appear after a 300 scrolling. The width is 100 and display settings for my entire site. Now click on the gear icon to start building the design. I'm only using the cadence block suite. I added a single row. I added a modal block. The link settings, I changed the text trigger to subscribe. In the modal overlay settings, which is the area within, I set it to a light blue and scroll down. In the modal position settings, I set the modal box horizontal to right. At this point, I realized I had to uh, disable the scroll to top functionality. So later, I will disable by going to the customizer. Scroll down and find the modal box size and height. I set mine to fit the content. Below the width is 100 and the max width I set mine to 600. Under the modal close bot button I enable it and I place it inside the box. You can also set it outside the box. And the size I set mine to 24 pixels. In modal box styling I set the inner horizontal line to the right and for the inner vertical alignment I define mine to the top.
the model background color I set mine to white and I, I want to put a shadow so I go to the model box shadow to enable and the last setting it's the advanced tab I highly recommend you you activate this option load content after food you gain more support when placed on this placement And then I tweak some settings. I added a form block. I deleted the message fields for the name field and email field. I set the width to 50%. I changed the default bottom text. I set the bottom width full width. Next, I navigate down to the container and I set my margins to zero. I need to disable the scroll to top button. I want to make sure there is no issue with my element location. So head over to the customizer general and scroll to top section. From there, disable the option and publish. We are back to business. Publish and let's now load the website after a refreshing. I'm noticing that the trigger link from the modal is center line instead the line to the right hand side. This is pretty easy to fix. So from your elements tab, press the element you need to edit and click on the edit button. Within the WordPress editor with modal blocks being selected, I adjust some styling colors. To fix the issue, all you have to do is to change the width to auto. Then update and now let's check on the front end the final result. As you can see, the text link is now located at the right hand side just like I wanted. Congratulations, you've made it. You'll learn how to deal with the cadence theme element hooks. Use them extensively. If you have any questions about this content, make sure to ask them in the comments below. If you got value from this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like down below. Thank you for watching.